Welcome. Welcome again. We are here again in the intercom kitchen. We are here again. Welcome to AARP Cooks. Now, let me say something first that I heard from a lot of you who watched the corn casserole recipe that was simple and delicious. This is called breakfast for dinner. And do you know why? Because I adore breakfast. I could have breakfast all day long. Maybe you're like that too. So I've got some tips for you too to make this fun or to make it romantic. So we're going to have French toast and scrambled eggs. We've got turkey bacon. You can make whatever kind of bacon you want. And we've got a beautiful uh, fresh fruit plate as well as some mango juice. It is low calorie, right? Because with AARP, I have walked all over the area. It's called Trail Trekkers. All you do is go to aarp.org slash St. Louis and at that website, you are going to find so much information. Trail trekkers, you register for a hike. I, I think I took six hikes. My husband could not believe that I was doing it. I'm like, dude, I used to be a tomboy. I love being outside. Uh, we got movie invites, and when this is all over, they're going to do it again, I promise you. But the other thing I went to the aarp.org slash St. Louis website for was information about myself and about my parents who are now in assisted living. There's all kinds of financial information, how to's, what to, what to think about. So aarp.org slash St. Louis is the website to go to. Thank you so much to our friends with AARP uh, for including us in all that you do to help people connect with opportunities and to live an active and healthy lifestyle. Living actively, connecting locally, that's what we're all about at AARP and Intercom St. Louis and KMOX Radio. So let's get into the French toast, shall we? I want to talk about bread for a minute because the better the bread, I believe, the better the French toast. So what I don't have here is just regular white bread or regular wheat bread because this is fancy. Friday nights when my kids were growing up, I used to make pancakes or French toast on a Friday night, breakfast or dinner. So let's start with the most expensive bread <laughs> that I bought, okay? $7 a loaf, people. Do not tell my husband that I spent $7 on a loaf of bread, okay? That so this is the best brioche bread, and you may find even some even better brioche bread out there that I have found. This is so delicious, so delicious. Seven bucks a loaf, though, all right? Next up, and again, you can use just plain white bread. It's going to be delicious. Just season up your eggs. We'll talk about that. Swirl French toast. This is kind of like a cheat because it's already seasoned, the, French, the, the bread is. And so you still do the same thing you do to make French toast. This is delicious. This you can just toast as well. Um, $2.99. $2.99. This is kind of new on the market. This came out. Uh, this spring from Sara Lee, and everybody loves Sara Lee, right? This is artisanal bakery bread. This is also brioche bread. It's not as flavorful as the $7 a loaf, but of course it wouldn't be. This was on sale for $1.99. It's not always $1.99. Normally it's about $3.99. So I'm going to go, because I'm with you right now, with the $7 loaf bread. Don't you love it? Seven bucks a loaf. I'm feeling fancy. So French toast is an easy recipe. It is eggs, sugar, cinnamon, French uh, vanilla, and you scramble them. Now, here's what I want to say. Pure vanilla extract. This is an investment. You're going to use it all the time. I use it in my waffles. I use it in my pancakes. I use it in my French toast. And this is all over Thanksgiving, don't you know? Pure vanilla extract. Invest in that. Cinnamon. Now, some of y'all are fancy enough to get cinnamon sticks and like grate them. We're not doing that tonight, okay? We're just going to shake right out of here. And then good old sugar. Now, I'm using 2% milk. I have used soy milk. I've used almond milk. Didn't like that because the flavor changed to the French toast, so I didn't like that. There is unsweetened soy milk, so I use that as well. I have used full, full fat milk, full whole milk. I've used skim milk. My kids were like, what's wrong with your French toast when I use the skim milk? So I didn't do that, but you can do it. If you start them young, they won't know the difference, right? If your yours is three years old, you skim milk. They won't know the difference. It'll be in college or as a young adult and they'll go to a brunch and they'll be like, 
my mama was cheating me this whole time. So anyway, 2% milk is just fine. Now let's talk about this skillet here. Great story. It's already got butter melting on it. When my 24 year old was about 10, went to San Antonio to visit his aunt, my husband's sister. She had a skillet like this. She made scrambled eggs, she made pancakes. He was fascinated. Later on, she gives him money for his birthday. He wanted to buy a skillet. So do the math. I just said he's 24, bought this when he was 10. I'm still using it. And he went away to college and I didn't remind him to take his skillet with him because I kept it. Now, the reason I love this, you just use a pan, of course, but you see how wide this is? See how wide this is? I can get the whole serving on this. So I'm going to do both the French toast, I'm going to do the turkey bacon, and I am going to do, because you guys are special, chicken and sage breakfast sausage. Also, $5. Also, don't tell my husband, it's fabulous. So we're gonna cook it all on the skillet. So first things first, I've already cracked my egg. I gave you the recipe for, I believe, how many eggs in that recipe? Two eggs. I've cracked four because I got a newsroom of people that are hungry, so I'm gonna make more. So I already cracked four eggs. You wanna mix these up, whisk them very well, very well, because you don't want any egg whites hanging out there, any yolk hanging out there. So we've got that going. Next, I'm gonna put sugar in it. Do y'all know my husband doesn't know that I put the sugar is called for in a French toast recipe? He doesn't know, if I didn't tell him. Like I said, start them young in your marriage and your kids, and they won't know the difference. All right, and we're gonna add the milk. Again, you can use soy if you want. It's quite all right, it's your house and your kitchen and your breakfast for dinner. Now, I've got four eggs in there. When I was a young woman leaving the house, I would call my mother for recipes. How did you do this and how did you do that? And she would say, add this, add that, add milk, add eggs, add butter. And I would say, how much? And she would say, you people and your measuring cups. Because women of a certain generation, they just eyeballed it. They didn't use measuring cups. I did, that was a cup of milk. I can tell from the color that it looks pretty good because it's not as yellow. If you look at this difference here, because these are the scrambled eggs that I'm going to make. And this is the mixture for the French toast. See the difference in the color? All right. So let's get that out of the way. And then our investment. I have, did I not open this ahead of time? No problem. I have little uh, measuring items, measuring spoons, but I'm not using them. I'm using the cap. Two capfuls is what I just did. I want to smell this French vanilla because I love it. I caught that fork before it hit the floor. Bonus. Going to mix that in. I've got this on. It's on 350 right now. And we're going to add the cinnamon. Do you find when you make French toast that that first dip takes all the cinnamon. That first piece of bread takes all the cinnamon, and you've got to add more. That greedy first piece of bread. And that's okay. That is quite all right. Now, before I start cooking this, let's talk about this table here. It's called a tablescape. Here's my, here's my hint for you. I'm kind of an empty nester. We've got kids back home, and they're going to be leaving again. Lord, help me. And so... I can make a tablescape for my husband that's romantic, right? And so for him, I would add rose petals. See these rose petals? These rose petals are actually soap. So after you guys have breakfast for dinner, take your rose petals and head on to another room. I hope it's an adult audience. All right. Because that's what that's for. But if it's just the kids, <laughs> And how did they get here? If it's just the kids, then we're just going to put some flowers because kids love fresh flowers. And then under each plate, find yourself a game. 
something that requires you to talk to each other. There are all kinds of conversation starters. So this game is called Name Five. Can you name five? And put this under the plate. Everybody's got to eat first, and then we're going to play the game before we leave the table. This game is called Name Five. And the top one on this list, name five reasons to quit a job. Well, I can't think of any here at KMOX Radio. Name five political cartoons. Name five bones in a human body. So you can make it a game it's the, if it's the kids, or make it romantic if it's romantic if it's you and your loved one. Tablescape. We've already got our fruit cut up. Strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Here's my thing about raspberries. I love them, but if you don't eat them day one or two, they're gone. Raspberries go bad quickly. All right, I can see my butter is browning because I was talking to y'all too long about making a romantic tablescape. So I'm going to add some more butter, and browning butter is okay for your French toast. My son told me once he did not want my scrambled eggs in browned butter because it changed the color of the eggs. I'm like, boy, you're going to eat these eggs. All right, so we are using... The $7 loaf, say it with me, $7 loaf. That is nice and heated up. And the other thing I like about the brioche bread, see how thick that bread is? Thinner bread's gonna fall apart, so you don't necessarily want that. All right, let's flip this over and get it in, because I don't want it soaked through and through. My husband would say, I really don't like your French toast wet. Too wet. All right. See what I tell you about the greedy first piece? Look at all the cinnamon that first piece took. I'm going to have to add more cinnamon. And that is all right. That is quite all right. While we are at all at home now, we need to do things that we always wanted to do and didn't think about doing. I'm going to stir that up a little bit and get that cinnamon mix going there things that we've thought about doing all this time and never had the chance to do, this is the time to do it. What I tell you about this big pan, I just might get six slices on there for sure. Now you may have someone in your family who doesn't like cinnamon. Maybe they don't like the French vanilla, I don't know. See, that one doesn't have as much cinnamon on it. That's okay. So we want to do what we've always wanted to do. How about that? Use your beautiful dishes, please. What are we waiting on? Nothing. Use your Christmas spatula. Use it now in July and August. Use it now. Look at these cute napkins. These are Christmas napkins. Is this not a message for the planet? Be jolly. Christmas napkins. Use your Christmas napkins. Who's stopping you? Who's going to come to your house and say, uh-uh-uh? All right. These are cooking up nicely. And my Christmas spatula is ready to do the trick. Oh, those look amazing. Now, you know, I have the kind of family that you might burn one or two. You better believe it's still going to get eaten. Am I right? Still going to get eaten. So let's flip this first one. Don't you love that color? It's about three minutes per side. And I am going to add a little more butter. Normally I would have Pam on the, on the ready. That is, can I say how perfect those look? Can I say how perfect those look? I know you, I was just thinking about some of you guys who got pans, like one pan you know is the perfect pan for scrambled eggs, and another pan is a pan you never can make scrambled eggs in, but you've got the pan that's perfect for your pancakes. You gotta know that. Like this one, it's heating up on this side a lot more, because after all, it is 14 years old, but I do love it. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna cook up quickly. It's not gonna take long at all. It's already going. Then I'm gonna get the gonna get the turkey bacon on here. Gonna get the chicken sausage. I'm adding a little more 
Look at that. I'm taking it right down the center. Taking it right down the center. Oh, I am hungry. I didn't eat lunch today because I knew I was going to be having breakfast for dinner with you. So I'm moving it around just to coat that. Oh, can you smell that? Can you smell that? Really? You can't? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk about how good it smells and you can't smell it too. Oh, that's delicious. Now, you know what I can do? And what you can do too, and this is the other reason I love this pan, get yourself a pan like this, is start this bacon. I put a little pepper on the bacon. My son and I are going to explore how to make caramelized bacon. Yeah, a little brown sugar. You should try that. Let me know if you try it. I'm going to try it too. A little brown sugar. Cinnamon, maybe, maybe not. Put it in the oven. I'm doing that this weekend. Because I love breakfast for dinner. I can eat breakfast anytime. The last thing I'm going to make is the eggs. So normally, I would just have this in the oven. I would have it warming. This is some prize winning French toast here. This coloration. Oh, perfect. All right, so you see this delicious pan here? I say delicious because it's perfect for serving. I like to make my food look good. I really do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something on that that's going to make it look fabulous. I'm going to grab that one. I'm feeding family. I can touch it. <laughs> oh, AARP, we love you. We love what you do for people in St. Louis and all over the country, really. What you're doing to protect us and inform us and help us live healthier lives. And, and to know, because I'm 58, you know, I'm, I could retire at 60, but I'm not. But I understand because I've read so many AARP articles at aarp.org slash St. Louis. I'm going to have the chicken sausage too. Is that getting older for some can naturally make you feel like, who am I now? You know, what am I supposed to do now? After living a life that included, you know, work and raising kids and now they're grown and having kids of their own. And so your identity can get into question, you know? And that's what AARP is so good at helping us to address, you know, helping us to know that just because you're 60 or 65, I just talked to a friend over the weekend, 65, it's going to work until he's 70. That is not going to be me. But he's planning for the future because there is a future. And that's why I love AARP living actively, connecting locally. Because there is a future, and that's how we do it. All right. Now, I'm doing turkey bacon, and it cooks up pretty quickly. And while that is cooking, I'm going to show you something else that I hope you take to heart and try. Because you know what? Why not? Let, let's just try something different this time. So a lot of you put honey in your tea, and that's the only way you use it. Honey on your French toast. Whatever syrup you use, this was on sale because you know me, right? You know how I am. This was on sale. It was actually, can I say what store? It's a discontinued item. I don't care why. It's totally healthy. It's fine, but they're not going to carry it anymore. So maple syrup, organic, 100% pure maple syrup. So let's upgrade the, the syrup that we're using. This is the time to do it. Chicken sausage is cooking quickly. Can you guys see that smoke rising? That's why I pulled my hair back. Because, again, let me say it, I'm 58. And everybody who's a fan of AARP, you know what happens to us as women when we get a little older. We get a little annoyed. Just a little. Okay, a lot. And that's okay, too. And we're hot. <laughs> and we are hot. Yes. See that? See that pepper on there? The same son who bought this 
He started putting pepper on his bacon when he was like six. So the other thing you could put on your bacon, I don't know if I have it in there or not, is rosemary. Yes, rosemary on your bacon, rosemary in your scrambled eggs as well. You could try that. That would be fantastic. These are almost ready. These are almost ready. All right. And here's the other time to do this, because with COVID, um, whatever you used to buy isn't always available. So I found Minute Made Zero Sugar Mango Passion Juice, not always available, because I went to get regular passion fruit juice, Minute Made, a lot of different juices out there. You can do whatever you want, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you want. Because you are going to live an active life, and an active life means doing something differently, getting out of your comfort zone. All right, I can tell that these are these are almost ready. Look at oh, I forgot to totally mention that the other thing I love about this pan, it is so easy to clean. Because if there's one thing I can admit to you, I really don't like doing dishes. I really don't. I really, really don't. Did I say that? Can I say it again? I really don't like doing dishes. And this pan cleans up so easily. All right, we are almost ready, people, to scramble some eggs. So let's get our bacon, our Christmas spatula is doing her job. Yes, I'm making a buffet for the family. For just two, you and your boo, or you and the kids. Because who says breakfast is only at breakfast time? You can have breakfast whenever you want. Right, we're going to put that right there. I made this whole box. I made this entire box of chicken sage sausage. Because it's not going to last. Because someone on the camera there, he's taking flowers home to his wife. He's going to take breakfast home to his wife. And I am all about making the marriage last. So if I can feed you, perfect. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to wipe it off. Just like that. I'm going to wipe it off just like that. It's smoking. Perfect. Going to turn it down because I don't want that butter to burn. We're going to let that cool off just a little bit. All right. It is very hot. And then we are going to, did you see me move quickly? Because the edge of that pan was hot and I burned myself. That's all right. So let's switch out our bowls here. And just to our eggs, my husband and I had this multi-year debate on whether adding eggs, adding salt rather, to your eggs before you cook them made them tough. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Uh, I read a carton, and it said, a carton of eggs, and it said, don't add the salt. It'll toughen the eggs. I'm like, honey, I'm just reading the carton. But he doesn't like salt on top of his eggs. He wants his seasoning mixed in, right? I'm a good wife. I'm a really good wife. So, yes, I'm putting the salt in the eggs. I hear you. He's not here. Why are you doing it? Now it's a habit. All right, so now let's add a little more butter. Now, listen. This is the point where you could add ham, any kind of cooking spray. You can do that. But I'm adding butter. But I'm adding butter. Because I want that flavor. Going to add a little milk to the eggs. You know what else you can do? You can add water. I have started adding a little water to my eggs. They're just as fluffy. People who don't want dairy, soy milk changes the flavor. And I, I didn't like it, but you can try all of that. 
Now I'm going to put these eggs on this pan and I'm going to start moving them right away. I have a coworker down the hall here who has never scrambled eggs. All right, I'm going to start over here because there is a, a drain thing over there that takes all the grease away, so I'll start over here. All right, let's start moving, shall we? That's it. Just that. Just that. Because it will immediately cook up, and there's a point at which you just turn your pan off because there's still heat there, of course, residual heat. And it's all it's still cooking. Now, some folks, my husband, for instance, talk about him a lot because, oh, he's my husband. We've been married 26 years, a lot of experiences. He likes an over easy egg. When we first got married, I didn't know how to make an over easy egg. You talk about trial and error. I didn't know. I didn't. I had never made an over easy egg. And I mean, he told me, man, you, you're, you're, uh, cause you gotta be gingerly, you know, say it gingerly when you're, when you're about to say something that might hurt your spouse's feelings, especially about her cooking. They're kind of overdone. They're kind of overdone. So I, I, I just didn't know. I just did not know how to make over easy, but over the years, I learned how, listen, we're turning this off. It's already done. It's already done. Some people like the little scrapies there. That, that's a, that's a um, official term, scrapies. I've never gone to cooking school, but I'm sure they say that. Look at that, it's already done. Now you get, the, you get your eggs on the plate and then you know who doesn't like them when they start chopping them up. Who doesn't like the, the as large as they are? All right. Is this already gorgeous? It's already gorgeous. Let's make it more gorgeous, shall we? Let's make it more gorgeous. This is my favorite part. I feel like I'm running a restaurant when I do this. Look at that. Oh, let it snow, let it snow. Ah, I am impressed with myself. That's all it took. Okay, so let's put our eggs because again, this is a buffet. The family's in the other room. They're talking about what happened this week and what they look forward to the best thing, the funniest thing. So you're getting the buffet ready and they can smell it. They know mom's almost finished. Or your loved one is getting the mimosas together because that's the other reason to get the mango juice is to have some mimosas. Who said mimosas are just for Sunday brunch? Who said that? Who said that? Bring them here so I can chat with them because we can have mimosas whenever we want. All right, my friends. Breakfast for dinner. My mother used to say that I, I didn't like being told what to do. I'm hard headed, she would say. She was right. I am so hard headed that nobody can tell me that I just have to eat breakfast in the morning. I can have breakfast for dinner. I wish the whole group of the AARP staff was here because they would love this. Would they not love this? It's a beautiful dish. This pottery, by the way, is from an artist in, in Illinois. It's a gift to me and this is a gift to you. So they're gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna get my grub on with this French vanilla, French toast, and this pepper turkey bacon, and this chicken and sage sausage, and these scrambled eggs. And don't forget about the fruit, because I'm gonna act like I'm being healthy. <laughs> but I'm gonna drown this in some maple syrup is what I'm gonna do. I'm one of those people. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to buck the system. That's what I want you to do. 
I want you to have mimosas on a Friday night. I want you to have breakfast on a Tuesday night if you want to. You know, uh, you could have some rice on the side here because I'm from the, my mother's from the South and my father. You could have some rice with your scrambled eggs. You know, you could put some grits in a bowl and have it right there on a Wednesday night if you wanted to. Because my friends at the AARP in St. Louis, they are down with us bucking the system. Because who says when you turn 60 or 65 that you're supposed to just roll up somewhere and sit down and start knitting? I do knit, by the way, and I crochet. I love it all. But just because I'm 58, that doesn't mean I have to stop doing things I used to do. Now, there are some things I can't do any longer, but it's not the point. The point is my friends at the AARP in St. Louis want you to live an active life because you can. Buck the system. Buy a bike. Get a helmet and hit a trail. Buy some new tennis shoes. Hold on. Hold on. You got them, Sam? You got them? Buy some new tennis shoes and hook up with the trail trekkers. Hook up. Hook up with them. You'll love it. Okay? I'm about to eat because it's the evening time and I'm about to have breakfast. So go to aarp.org slash St. Louis and see everything that they have going on. Read all the articles. You'll be more informed. You'll feel more in control. And you with me can buck the system and do what you want to do, no matter how old you are. aarp.org slash St. Louis. Thank you so much. I'm starving. I'm ready to eat now. Cheers.